Hello everyone, it's Colin with the Knox County Fire Bureau. In today's Fire Tech episode, we're going to talk about a different sort of smoke alarm. A smoke alarm that we as the fire department can use to help families that have a deaf member of the household or someone living in the home that may be hard of hearing, a senior perhaps. In those particular cases, along with working smoke alarms already in the home, we can add to that house what's called a bed shaker. Now, this particular model, the Safe Awake, works on the principle of the device, the control unit, this piece right here, hearing the activated smoke alarm in your home and then activating a bed shaking device. Now that we have the Safe Awake system out of the box, let's take a look at it real quick. This, the base unit, is where you're going to plug in the bed shaker to the bottom, along with the AC power. This is also equipped with a battery backup. This unit then would sit on your nightstand next to the bed, or you could mount it to the wall, whatever's convenient. And then when it hears the activated smoke alarms in your home, within 30 seconds, it's going to activate its own set of alarms, both an audible and visual, along with the bed shaker. Now, this is designed to be placed either underneath your pillow or underneath the mattress. All right, so why don't we go ahead and put the Safe Awake through its paces? So we'll get the assembly done here real quick. It's always good to read the manufacturer's included instructions for any device that you put in your home especially with a device like this, where it interacts with your smoke alarm so that you understand exactly how it works. When you test the device by pressing the center triangle button, all the lights, all the sounds, and the bed shaker will activate for 30 seconds. And in that 30 seconds, it'll give you an opportunity to test where the best placement is for the shaking device, whether it be underneath a pillow or underneath your mattress. It'll also allow you to test the low battery function. If the amber light flashes, the instructions say that the battery backup needs to be replaced. To go ahead and put this together, make sure you have at least a Phillips head screwdriver and a smoke alarm from your home to make sure that your home smoke alarms are able to activate the device. So we're going to install the battery backup just by lifting the back cover off following the picture instructions to install the batteries. And then securing the battery door back in place. You can put your screwdriver away. Now, we'll go ahead and get our AC power. Remember, this is AC powered with a battery backup, just like your smoke alarms. We'll go ahead and plug in the AC power. Now you'll notice with this particular model right away, the flashing red light on the side, that's to indicate that the shaker device is not plugged into the unit. So we'll go ahead and put that in right now. Get that all plugged in and ready to go. And you'll notice that the red light has flashed, stopped flashing. All right, stow your cords. And get the device on your bed. Now, this is a pretty strong shaker. They are. I mean, they're meant to wake you up. Um, if they're, the smoke alarms activate. So we're going to start first with the device underneath the mattress. All right, getting it kind of centered on where you sleep. And the last thing we're going to need is we're going to need a smoke alarm from our house in order to make sure that the base unit, when it hears that pattern, is going to be able to activate the device.
Wow. That, that is a very strong vibration coming through the mattress. I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that if that went off while I was sleeping, that I would get up. Now, I would say that after that vibration with that test, with the shaker underneath the mattress, there was no way that I was sleeping through that. Um, but they are also designed to be placed underneath your pillow. So we'll go ahead and we'll give that a shot and feel what that feels like. Depending on how you sleep, this may or may not be an option. With the shaker underneath the pillow, there is no way I'm going to sleep through that. It's almost as intense as it being underneath the mattress. Well, this has been a great tool. And it's wonderful for supplementing our home's working smoke alarms if we have someone who is deaf or hard of hearing in our house.